Ghana's immediate neighbors, Burkina Faso, Togo, Ivory Coast, and Nigeria have all recorded one form of terrorism attacks or the other in recent times. In June this year, gunmen attacked the St. Francis Catholic Church in Ondo State, southwest Nigeria, killing many worshippers, including children. They fired into the congregation, then kidnapped a priest as well as other church members. A recent security report made available to the United Nations revealed the presence of terrorists in Ghana as these terrorists used the country as a point for regrouping. The Ajusu Divisional Police Commander, ACP Stephen Tani in Giza, asked the Seventh-day Adventist Church to pay attention to threats of terrorism in West African sub-region. Speaking at a camp meeting of the Krapa district of the church at Bessiansi, he urged churches to invest in CCTV cameras. <laughs> A former president of the South Central Conference of the SDA Church, Pastor Dr. Kwabna Anobuafo, warns churches in Ghana to spend on physical needs of members. Dr. Buafo, who is also Dean of Students at the Valley View University, is proposing the formation of church security corps across the country. You go to beautiful churches in Ghana, in our conferences. We spend so much money on furniture, on the tiles and everything, but we forget to put security gadgets in our churches. Something like CCTV cameras. How many churches in Ghana have these things. And it doesn't cost so much. I think there's a time every church in Ghana must have this, this call. It's very important. Church security call. So something like that. They will be trained by security personnel so that day by day, as we, as we come to church, they will take care of these things in and around church premises. Head pastor of the Krapat District Seventh-day Adventist Church, Stephen Odro Bimpe says, the church is alarmed by the threat of terrorism. We are alarmed. It has woken us up that everyone must be alert. See something, say something. If you see something strange, question. Move there. Take an action. Because it will save the church, it will save the community, and it will save Ghana at large. From Kumasi, for Joy News, I'm Interior reporting. Yeah.